at my store in North Canton, Ohio, on Ocean Rift Aquatics, we use ChemiPure in our main retail displays. We put 12 bags in the sump and allow it to do the main part of our filtration outside the live rock. Well, you wanted to see the filtration system that drives that beautiful aquarium. Here it is. Hi, everybody. John here with another FinCast. And we're in the Life Support Center at Center in the Square in Roanoke, Virginia, to show you how we take care of that basically 8,000-gallon system that's upstairs that I showed you in that earlier FinCast. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who's watched that video, who's commented on it. If you haven't seen that video, you might want to take a look at it before you watch this one. It'll make a lot more sense to you. But we're talking about one of the biggest reef tanks on the East Coast, and it's absolutely beautiful. But this is what it takes to maintain it. And I'm going to start out by having Ben Carl and my son with Carl and Aquarium Systems talk a little bit about this is a thousand gallon sump. So you think about the sump for the filtration that you have on your aquarium. Well, all of this behind me here is basically one huge sump. It's got skimmers, it's got uh, biological filtration, we're doing some additives, and I'll have Ben tell you all about it. So we give tours all the time to our life support center down here. I'm going to walk you through it. It's probably very similar to most of the systems that you have on your own home aquarium, except everything is drag and dropped to the huge version of it. So starting off, we need to remove anything you could see with the naked eye, any of those particulates that's going to give you less than crystal clear water. So like, like most of you guys at home, we have filter socks that are really big and we have eight of them. These guys are changed every other day. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're going through pulling out each one of these bags and getting them machine washed and put back into the system. So up next, we have our protein skimmers. Like anybody that's in the reef hobby, they know that this is the heart and soul of aquarium filtration. We have two massive Deltec skimmers here. Each one is driven by four pumps. It brings out an enormous amount of fish waste each month or each day. Uh, we take these out once every other day as well. These are going to get completely cleaned out and reset back up. So like anyone else, we constantly battle nitrates and phosphates. So in just the same way that you would in a home aquarium, again, just on a much larger scale, we have two very large Next Reef uh, reactors. One is running Roafoss and the other one is running ChemiPure Blue from Boyd Enterprises. Up next, we have sheets and sheets of matla. Now this actually serves two really great functions in a reef aquarium. It's actually designed for use in ponds, but it serves as a magnificent bubble diffuser from your protein skimmer, so you're not getting all those micro bubbles up in your reef display, but it is also just miles upon miles of surface area for bacteria to grow on. So in addition to all that great live rock that you have in the display, this is a phenomenal way to get really good bacterial filtration. So about a year ago, we decided that the coral growth in the reef, while good, wasn't as good as we wanted it to be. And we were literally dosing thousands of milliliters of two-part solution on a daily basis. We were burning through dosing pumps. It was becoming a massive headache trying to keep up with our calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium levels. So finally, we invested in a massive calcium reactor. I had this custom built from Geo. Um, it's running Reborn from Two Little Fishies, and it drives with a variety of different really cool technology. Putting together a calcium reactor system really is a little bit of an art form. There are so many different options out there, and I've been really pleased with the setup we went with. The brain of the whole operation is our apex here. This is making sure that the pH isn't dropping too low, or too, yes, too low in the calcium reactor chamber, or getting too low in the actual reef display. So we have parameters set to either cut the feed pump or the amount of CO2 injection based on those pH levels. In addition, we have the carbon doser from aquariumplants.com. That's gonna be our CO2 regulator. This particular piece of equipment is an absolute must have if you are a avid reef hobbyist and you, are, and you have a significant amount invested in your corals. This particular doser is gonna work a lot more effectively at administering just the right amount of CO2 on a consistent, steady basis. So that, that particular piece of equipment was well worth the investment. And finally, we're running a Cole Palmer pharmaceutical grade peristaltic pump. Whenever you're running one of these calcium reactor systems, you really need to be sure that you have good, steady effluent flow through the system. 
These guys are designed for medical grade uses and you can find them on eBay in a variety of different sizes. This one works great for us and it's administering about 100 mils per minute. Up next, we have our Aqua UV 200 watt ultraviolet sterilization unit. This particular unit is another just must have for this particular system. We literally have hundreds of fish in the display upstairs and allowing the risk of any potential uh, protozoan infections, ick, velvet, finding its way, getting through that life cycle and potentially making our fish sick is just not something that's an option. So this is something that's constantly running. We do have the wiper function on this particular unit so that we're constantly being able to go through and clean out that cord sleeve. And that's something that we do on a weekly basis. This thing is so powerful that when the lights are off, you can actually see that UV bulb glowing through the unit. So if anybody at home has ever set up their own RO unit and mixing station, I'm sure they're familiar with these roto mold style tanks. These are phenomenal for use in the aquarium industry. They're ex extremely easy to keep clean and they're completely sterile upon purchase. Uh, we have three 1100 gallon containers down here in the life support room with us. This is how we do our water changes. Once a week, we go through and drain 1100 gallons down we're going through the week producing that much water in one tank, switching it over to a mixing tank so we have fresh salt water on hand at all times. We are personally big believers in the water changes and thanks to United Pet Group out of Blacksburg, Virginia, we actually have loads and loads of salt donated to us each year so that we can keep up with this volume of water change. Okay, so we have 24 ounces of fuel here. This is about what we're dosing once a week. We're gonna administer it into our frag system that we have attached to our entire big system here. Um, this is just about the amount you would typically buy in a bottle for a hobby grade system and this is again like I said our weekly dose. So we like to use amino acids. It's been really wonderful for all of our corals. We've seen a lot of improvement in both color and growth. Uh, so it is something that we highly recommend for any reef system. Okay, so up next is how we light our system. This is probably a little bit different than what most hobbyists are going to be using at home. Our display upstairs is 12 feet deep. So we're using these eco exotic cannons in order to penetrate that deep. We have 24 of them up on the display upstairs and all the wiring is run down to our life support room downstairs. So we have dimming switches and access to everything in the event that a driver ever goes out. How many blue and how many white? Uh, we've got a 50-50 blend between the two, so we've got 12 blues on the system and 12 whites on the system. Then one more thing you may have noticed in the video while Ben was talking, we have these two troughs here that are full of frags, and these are plugged into the 8,000 gallon system. Of course, that gives us a fantastic, stable water source to grow these corals in, and we sell these corals to local shops, and we'll open up every once in a while and have people come down to the life support system, and they can point and pick, and and choose the corals they want. We sell these and that helps offset the cost of the upkeep of the aquariums upstairs which are free to the public. So people walk in they see these beautiful aquariums but the organization does have to have a way to pay for all the service and all, all of everything you see down here. So that's what we do and these are some beautiful frags that grow here and if you're really interested you can contact us and we can send you maybe a, a sheet of some of, of what's available and so forth. But that's just something else that we're doing down here in the life support system. So. That's a tour. Thanks again to Ben with Caro and Aquarium Systems for showing us uh, what all happens down here. We do have uh, feet on the ground uh, seven days a week in this uh, life support system to make sure that we maintain that tank so it's always beautiful for the public and the fish are happy and healthy. Thanks for watching this FinCast. Please click around. I'm sure you'll find something you like, and I'll see you in the next FinCast.